thank me, yes. Dr. Kua. So, as I was saying, I, I would have hoped that by this time we would have moved into discussing solutions, which I would do at the end of my submission. But the tangent we were going on before was to actually tell Ghanaians what led to the situation we have now. First, on, on the Saturday that these protests started, and everything is well documented on social media, and I hope you can show some of the videos to your people, so that everything is put into proper context. We live in a country where there's rule of law, contrary to what people are saying. So you, there are situations where you ban property and paraphernalia of another political party. That can even be said that, oh, it's an MPP and DC matter. The police just let them do what they were doing. Then into the issues of disturbing the ordinary citizens that, that were, were trying to use that stretch. The mobbing of the woman and her daughter in the CRV. And you could see the fear on their faces. I don't think any of us sitting here would have been happy if we were put in that situation. So let's just be fair when situations come up. There's no need to politicize <coughs> this. When you, you are absolutely allowed to protest. It's something that everybody does. And you, it's, we all have the right to ensure that these protests are peaceful so that we do not detract from the activity of protesting. That's not the way we expect people to protest. You can't want to instill fear. Because if I was in that CRV car with someone else, or if I was in that car with my mother, I would have been scared because what, you are suddenly mauled by a group of men and it's, it's something that is scary. It didn't happen in one instance. There were several people that used the road that were mobbed and insulted. These people were insulting the people and you won't come out and, and come and do this, blah, blah, blah. Is that, is, that, is that the way forward? Is that what we are trying to preach now as Ghanaians? And now is they that have the been way, arrested. Let me, is, that the, is, that, is that what we are preaching now? One even went as far as to say in Chi that's Ghana for more and more in Tebi Wuana Yede. That's the situation that happened. Some there are videos of them attacking the police. The police are formed like a riot shield. You are attacking them. Somebody took a vehicle from a police car and a threw key. it a key, for, and threw it away. Can you is that, have you seen anybody attempt that? Even if you, you were, like, I, have you seen anyone attempt that? How would you have the audacity and the hubris to enter a police vehicle and take the key? These are not issues that should be merely glossed over. And to me, with all the actions that they engaged in, it made it seem to me that, no, maybe they weren't really out there to protest the issue that's on the heart of everybody. And to think that people are sitting here and because we do not endorse the actions they, they, they the actions that they did on over the weekend doesn't that means that we don't care about the issue it's, it's, it's the farthest thing from the truth we are all very interested in the well-being of the country we are all very interested in purifying our water bodies and we've already sat even prior to the resurgence of this galam say fight the mpp had gone around on the stakeholder engagement to engage people in these small-scale mining communities to come up with a plan that would work that would improve and build on the things that we've done because for people to sit here and say nothing has been done in the Galamsey fight it's a big fat lie we haven't achieved the results that we were all looking for everybody's going to admit that and as government we have to take responsibility would you say that and government has failed in the fight against Galamsey? I, the, the statement i'm going to make on the issue is the one i've already made we, we've made a lot of progress we what, haven't what, what's achieved the progress you have made we, okay can, can you so speak we've, to that? we have we, there was an alternative livelihood program where a lot of the small scale mind those who were asked engaging in Galamse were trained in alternative livelihoods. They were given seedlings, they were trained in agriculture and whatnot. 4,000 of where, them... Where, where were they trained in agriculture? Where in the mining, I would, I would, I'll find the, the document. And all yeah, these I'll, things I'll are documented. Did, and the then the documents, labs, that, the which, documents that the, she, she the, the, the referenced, same seedlings it's even in of, there. I assume it's supposed to plant fa farms. Yes. The same farmlands have been destroyed by Galamse. Yesterday alone, mm. in fact, for the last three days, we've been getting consistent calls from people whose cocoa farms have been destroyed exactly because of now do you, are you so, are you so aware that the people uh, who let, let me just ask the question uh -huh. so are we taking one step forward and three steps backwards if we if are training, you allow me to explain everything and destroying i was their saying farmlands. no that you are giving people siblings these cocoa farmers that their um, farms are being destroyed are you aware that they sell the, their farmlands to these small scale miners no. this Gosh. person who called did not yeah sell but his most farm. of the issues even that did you hear the the chief i think it was and the, that's the point recently. why are we not clamping 
happening now because the president has so the power. So allow me explain to everything. The president it. does not have the power to prevent somebody from selling their land. No, he has the power yes. to clamp down on, on Galamsey. Yes, so I'm explaining mind. to you what the things we've done so far and how we uh, plan to improve the situation. So if you allow me land, you'll see the full picture. Oh, okay. So you ask what we've done and I told you about the alternative livelihood pro program. The fact that people see that there's a lot of money and to sit here and think that this issue is something that is, is political and it's just the um, government, it's, it's just trivializing the issue and no understanding. People that engage in this small scale mining, there are videos of them digging under their beds in their rooms because of what they think they can gain. That one too is an, it's, you can't say that that's, that's an MPP person. Or this, it, it, <coughs> people yes, are doing this the under point, their yeah. beds. But the point is people that people are going, people are jailed the, the next day, they come out and do the same thing. These people doing these so things. you have to employ a more comprehensive approach to be able to deal with this. The activity and, and the, of using law enforcement right has been tried. The NDC um, rep was sitting here and I didn't hear her say anything about what they did, but they tried. They also f tried to fight Galamse. At that time, documentaries were also, um, th there was one by Anas Aremi Al Anas, Al Jazeera, I think it was Africa Watch, Ghana Gold. You can go and watch it. There are so many documentaries at that time as well. So we can't sit here, if we sit here and discuss the issue like this, we will come in 10 years and then we'll still be discussing it. The it is about report. Yes points fingers at specific people. Yes, it points fingers at specific people across the political divide. Yes. So yes, no, I, I'm not I'm not yes. talking so about what I'm trying to about say is that belongs to which political party in the report. Mm -hmm. I'm saying people have been fingered what has been done to these people. In fact, what has been done with the report? What has been done? No. So what I was talking about was the things we have done. And if you, the rep, since you've quoted this report, I'm very sure you've read it. So the things that the interministerial community did are well documented there. The training of 4,000 small scale miners in the proper way to do mining at UMAT was done. The, uh, 5, 000, there were over 5,000 uh, miners who were previously involved in Galamsey who were inv um, invited, you know, to try and sanitize the sector, to come and then um, so that we can sit down, license them, and then this thing can be done better. 5,500 or so of them were actually given licenses and their concessions were well mapped out. I think one thing that's also very important to distinguish is the activities of small scale mining, legitimate small scale miners from Galamsey, the people that are mining in the water the people that are using mercury to get the gold out of the ore and these are the problems and if we don't start to try and differentiate so that we can actually attack those that are doing us harm we are going to be just running in circles on this issue so now let me move on to the solutions that we have come up with okay. based on the fights that the things we put up and what we've learned okay so when you are doing anything like even when you're running a company you run into challenges you do things it doesn't work you pivot and you move around it so we have done a lot of things in the fights for between 2017 and now and we've learned a lot from that and so after that we are saying let's move away from the approach that we had and moved move to approach where other countries have actually done that this Which issue is of small scale mining is not an issue that occurs just in Ghana South Africa is grappling with it. Brazil has been grappling with it. Do you mean Galamsey or small scale mining? Small scale mining, Galam what they call artisanal small scale okay. mining is, is Galamsey. The kind of same people just using pickaxes to dig under their beds. Illegal mining. Yes, is illegal mining. Yes, illegal mining. It's not just, yeah. It's not yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not. They small combine small it all illegal together. Mining, yeah. So now we are, I hope, We're now I'm happy that Galamsey. we are illegal all mining. trying to distract, separate the two. So if someone has a concession and they are doing small scale mining, it's not Galamsey. I'm glad that we've all agreed to this. Mm -hmm. So as I was saying, we have looked at the approaches of all these other countries and what they've, do, what they've done and what we have done locally to be able to come up with a more comprehensive plan that we are very sure will be able to tackle with this, will be able to tackle this issue. And these are the kinds of conversations I expect us to be having so by what, now. What's, what's so our the, plans yeah, now are that we've realized that, first, I was very happy that our, our running mate, Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe, said we should both both the political parties should come together and sign an anti galamse pact so that the acts of sabotage that's some very well documented i'm sure you've seen some of those videos of kweku boyen tony Obe, all those acts of sabotage that went on we can now both of us sit on the table and say we are not politicizing this issue let's deal with it head on <coughs> obviously we are in government so we are taking the lead we are not checking blame or saying we should split no but you cannot also be sabotaging the effort while we are trying to fight it so the first thing is the anti galamse pact the second thing that we are very well hoping to do is to set up a minerals development bank because one of the issues that come up with 
bank. Yes. yes. Okay. Let me land. Yes. I mean, see, when you were talking, I didn't now leave any or interrupt. Yes. Minutes, so. Well, her, her microphone went you. off. In yes. yes. So as I was saying, to set up a mineral development bank. Let her land. Let her land. Yes, and to I'll set up, you want to hear solutions. I'm giving yeah. you solutions. I'm not going to sit here and just complain and point go at ahead, my fingers because I could. So ahead. what go I'm go saying, ahead. to set up a minerals development bank, because if you look at the issue critically, the people with Shamfan machines putting it on the river and mining cannot afford to do it on the concession scale that we can <coughs> easily regulate and ensure that they reclaim the land. So set up a bank to make funds available to these people. After you've trained them in how to do um, small-scale mining properly, you get rid of the Chinese factor because that's how the Chinese people come in. They provide the funds. So it sets up the Minerals Development Bank. Two, you have to make the licensing regime so that it's easier for us to license and be able to regulate Won't it. Want it to be easier again? No. You know so that because uh, the you know that in this government alone over a thousand licenses And I told you how the, those licenses were give, giving out. <laughs> if you read the report, it is there. 5,000 miners applied when we were fighting. And so when you say you want to make it easier for more licenses Put it to all, be given, what, what do you make mean Make exactly? it all yeah. under the Minerals Commission, so that those who you are not going to say that oh the licensing process is too cumbersome, so you just go use your pickaxe or, or use your chamfan machine on the river. We are trying to make sure that everybody is in the regulatory net so that we can tackle it. Yes, the but second, those in the, the regulatory thing, net right now are over a thousand under this administration yes. alone, and complaints, the allegations in the report also suggest that no people with these small scale mining licenses are going beyond the bounds no of the yes. licenses and that have so been given to them. So if you allow me to finish, and I engage all, in Galamse. It's an approach you, that you as, have to look as, as at. As you talk about the plans to, to resolve the issue, can you speak to the plans to restore our water bodies and the and plans to restore the, the farmlands you and the allow me to finish, you will see that it is in, it's there. There's a whole plan. Yeah, I, in yeah, the, I think yes. that's the biggest concern. Okay, the so water I'll quickly bodies, move there. Farmlands. So can you speak one, to that? One of the issues that we are seriously grappling with is the use of mercury by these people that usually mine and on the... And cyanide. And to usually mine on, in this river to try and extract the ore which has even been proven that it's not the most effective way to extract the gold out of the ore. So it will be... You it, have two minutes more. Yes, it, will be, it won't be too difficult to convince these people doing these things the wrong way, even if they don't care so much about the good of the country, that there's a better way to do this. So what we are doing is introducing the mercury-free gold catcher machines, some of which have already arrived, so that then you can use that to purify the ore without using mercury. Another thing we are looking at that is going to deal with these issue, the issue especially of the water bodies is the establishment of settlement dams. Because if you've ever been to a Galamsey area, what you see is that there's, there are belts or, or whatnot, and they are using water to wash these ores, and usually the water is returned to the closest river. So we've noticed that, and we've seen that other people, responsible miners in this area, are using innovative ways to make sure that the water they use doesn't reach, doesn't go back into the river. This is what we call this, um, the settlement settlement dams. So we are going to build a lot of settlement dams as well so that the people who are regulated are in the nets now. The water they use will not return to the rivers. Then the reclamation efforts that we that we started, we are going to intensify that. So if you are, what it is now, is that if you are in the regulatory net and you have a, a proper license, there's oversight. They will come, EPA will come and check. So many other um, agencies will ensure that you are doing the right thing. And you are, you are enshrined to reclaim that land. So if you are given this concession, and you are done, you are supposed to reclaim it. And it will be, supervision will be done so that you can reclaim it. And then okay. there's also a reclamation fund for that. We're okay. also in introducing river wardens who are going to be specifically to trained yeah, on this, right. on this issue. Eight, eight, Obviously, we've eight, tried eight, using the um, normal yeah, law I'm enforcement officers, again. and we saw how if easily they were able the to time. be induced. So we are training special river wardens who are okay. going to, after all of this that we've done, to, mm. stand, uh, to basically okay. police the river bodies. Then another issue, the last one, the you can move on is the issue of prospecting licenses we want to do away so the government is going your to take that up. responsibility your time is up I, you're Give not answering the, the question about I'm giving how you about that you're giving I just told you about the settlement dams right now